Hello friends, welcome to the podcast. This is episode 6, bringing the springtime birds from India. Spring season in India starts from mid-February and ends up in late June. This season brings the arrival of colors which enrich your mind to visualize, think fresh, rejuvenate yourself and spread joy. It's like rebirth or redressing or a makeover of the mother nature. It induces the birth of new leaves, flowers, fruits and trees. Nature always gives through its creation through various seasons on this planet. It is interlinked with all the species. Sharing a similar story of my journey of observation of how the spring season offered a visual treat to me through my window and has taught me that one doesn't have to travel too far for studying wildlife. An orchid or an epiphyte survives on a host plant and gets its nutrients from it. A mango tree which is close to my balcony has one of the epiphytes. This epiphyte has grown nice with the flowers and its fruits will show up in the next season which will be the monsoon. The pale bellied flower pecker and the purple ram sunbirds thrive on this small epiphyte. It also harbors a crow's nest. It is approximately 4 feet away from my window. The epiphyte is a boon for the flycatchers and spider hunters too as it lures the insects with its fragrance. The flower formation is unique with four petals stretching out. It also produces nectar to increase its chances of pollination through ornithophily and entomophily. I haven't seen butterflies though on the pod, but there are these peckers who don't leave a day to pay a visit to the produce of these flowers. Approximately after every half an hour, the bird returns to sip the nectar. If you see closely, the tongue is longer than the beak, while slurping the juice. And after every sip, the bird is seen fluttering its wings and making a shrill whistle, which is just not soothing to the ears, but also fascinating to observe. I have also seen them loosening the pods by massaging the buds and then piercing the beak to sip the nectar. I hope that my photographs do justice. I can't tell you how happy one feels after seeing these birds. Now one can just get relieved of the stress by looking at them perform this maneuver endlessly. Look at this beautiful yellow bird which is called the Golden Oriole, who is looking for the crawlers who dwell beneath the leaves. It's the moth larvae which thrives under the leaves. Now here, I would say that they know to maintain the balance between the moth larvae and the butterfly caterpillars. I would say again that it's the nature's intellect of maintaining the balance and the beneficiary gets its meal. There are red vented bulbuls spraying out spiders and larvae. Flycatchers survive on the gnats that appear on the fruit of the mango tree. Tailor birds look for spiders or other insects. If the predator goes extinct, then the prey will go extinct. Or if the prey goes extinct, then the predator goes extinct too. It's an intricate food web which binds everything on this planet. If any one of this element gets disturbed or gets lost, then the balance is lost forever. If you like this content, do follow me on Spotify and the Google Podcast. Thank you.